Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Aida, I'm your art teacher for those who don't know. In this school year we will start with the most important thing in art and that's elements of art. Uh, with elements of art uh, our, we will improve our art skills. Today we will learn more about the line. Here I have some projects. First and on beginning, I have here, I hope so you can see it, uh, different types of lines. What we have here? First, straight line or horizontal line. This is straight line. Then we have zigzag line. It's zigzag. Then next line, it's wavy. Then we have lightning. It's simple. Uh, okay. Next line is dashed or broken line because we start straight line, stop. We start and stop. So this is broken line. Then we have squiggy or I would call it like curly. It's more curly, like curly hair. That's this one, curly. Then we have ocean wave or shark line. It reminds us or on ocean waves. Next line is dotted line, we just put dots in horizontal line. Scalloped, it's like this, it's not really important, but it's interesting. Then we have spiral and walk around, which are not important for now. Then I have next, next one, where we have straight lines. On next paper, as you can see, we have lines, we have straight lines. Then we have vertical. If they are going like this, upside down, they are vertical. Diagonal, if they are going a little bit on side. Horizontal is straight line, it's just straight line. Then we have wavy, it's like this, wavy. Scallop is not important for now. We have zigzag line, it's zigzag. Then we have curly. We have thick, thin, crisscross, and dubbed with or dotted line. Now I'm gonna show you your projects. We have three projects, and they are for uh, next two weeks, not just for first week. Okay, now I'm gonna show you first. You will write, you will take one paper. For first project, you will need two papers. Uh, project for first week. First, you will write types of lines. Then you will try all of them. You will try to draw them. Then you will take another paper. You will write line here and separate paper on more uh, different uh, parts. And in each part, you will fill it with different line. Now, project for the next week is also lines. You will see it demonstrated in video. Here we have hands. You will first on one white paper draw your hands, then cut it and paste it on this paper. But first thing what you will do before you paste your hand, you will draw all, you will fill paper with different lines and you can color it with your favorite colors. At the end you will just paste hand. So this is project for the next week. Enjoy. Hello everyone. Welcome to uh, today's art lesson. Today we are doing different types of lines. Here we have picture of materials which we will use for this first project. Project for first week. Scissors, paper and ma markers. You can use different colors of markers uh, which I use here it will be better and easier for you but if you don't have colorful mar markers you can use just in one color it's important that you know lines here we are making first poster I'm drawing horizontal or straight line I will write it here straight line which we use while we are creating our art. 
Next line is zigzag line. I will do it in purple so you can see it clearly. It's different from straight line. So you can also remember it which with a color. I'm taking yellow marker. For next line, it's not really visible here. It's curly line or wavy. I hope so that you can see it now better. Wavy line. I would like from you that you also do the same on paper. Write types of lines and do the same as me. It will be great if you can change colors so it will be clear for you. Next line, you see it's like a little bit broken. It's like horizontal straight line. But we are drawing this line with cutting. We draw line and stop. And this line is broken or dashed line. And this one in red color is wavy line. It looks like ocean waves. So we call it wavy. Next line with which I just drew, it's dotted line. You are basically just putting dots next to each other in one horizontal line. And we get dotted line. Now, we are preparing paper for next project. This project is also included in project for week one. Here I will make one space where we will draw, where we will actually write line and around on the paper you will draw different lines. I will color it. You can color in your favorite colors. It doesn't need to be yellow. You doesn't need do you don't have to use purple marker for drawing also. It's up to you. Choose your favorite color. You can decorate the background also. Color it. Now I'm separating background, I'm making space for new lines where we will do our practice. I will again use different colors of marker. I will start with wavy line. You will just fill this part with wavy line. This practice is so simple, also so important for you to remember all lines. So simple. Now we are changing color for next line. This line is called curly line. You know probably someone who has curly hair. So it's simple to draw it. <laughs> when you are drawing portrait, you can draw girl or boy with curly hair. You can just use curly lines. That's why we need to teach them. Green line is straight or horizontal line. We know that already. Now I'm taking brown marker and drawing zigzag line. Okay. Now, when I'm done with zigzag, I'm starting with orange color. 
new line do you remember this line what we say it's horizontal or straight line but it's like cutted or broken you can call it also broken line okay now when we are done we are starting last line last line it will be dotted line we are just putting small dots next to each other in one horizontal line and we have dotted line it's so creative interesting you can use it in so many different projects in art okay we are done with our project so simple hope so you will enjoy it this was for project number one for week one now we will need two papers as you can see here i have two white papers for next project for the next week this will be interesting i'm sure that you know what i'm doing here when i post my hands i'm drawing outlines You probably did this in reception, preschool. I'm sure you know to do it. It's so easy and simple. <coughs> now, when we are done, we are cutting. Be careful. As you know, we have to follow the line. You can keep outlines inside or outside. That's up to you. Okay. This will take a little bit longer. See how I'm doing. I make it easier. I'm making it easier for myself. You can do the same. Cut the rest of the paper. Then you cut between fingers. Start always from the beginning and just cut it at the end, like this. Now we are done with our hands. Keep it on side and do take new paper where you will draw, draw different types of lines. I'm starting with horizontal line you will just fill all paper with different lines. You can use first zigzag. You can see here, we have a project. At the end, it will look like this. Here, I'm changing color. I take a black marker. I'm doing zigzag lines. It's not important, they don't have to be perfect lines. So don't worry if you make some little mistake. Don't worry about that. I'm sure you remember this line. This is dotted line or broken line. Also so simple. This is wavy line. This is dotted line. See, I'm using just simple dots next to each other in one straight line. And we get dotted line. So fast. These lines are vertical.
this one is wavy ocean line now when we are done with drawing we can color it you can use any colors you want it's not important i make this video a little bit faster part with coloring so you can see it still but it won't take a lot of time for you to watch you can use your favorite colors make it colorful and nice Now, when we are done, on our hands, you can just use the back side of your paper and draw outlines line. on your hand. You can add it will be much better effect marker. when you stick it on your drawing. You need school glue. I'm sure that you have it. You will use school glue to paste it on your drawing but be careful on other side opposite side where we don't have outlines because outlines have to be visible on our first side okay now when we are done with outlines okay i will fix it a little bit I have to stick it here. It looks so nice. As I said, we will use skull glue. Again, use your backside of paper to be sure that glue will stay on backside, which is not really important. Better than on main page, where is our drawing? Okay. Now we have glue. Rotate your paper and paste your hand. It's beautiful. And project for week two, it's done.